the students in this video we are going to discuss the chapter 11 for class 6 mathematics the chapter name is algebra so this video is based on the algebra that is our mathematics book that is chapter 11 algebra in ncert book class 6 what is the learning objective of this video the basic learning objective of this videos are basic concept of algebra second the meaning of variable third uses of that variable fourth meaning of constant fifth use of constant sixth world problem based on algebra and then uses of algebra that are the main learning objectives of this video if we discuss the dictionary of this chapter we will going to focus the variable a symbol which takes on a various numerical value is called a variable a constant a symbol which has a fixed numeric value is known as constant the literal number in algebra we use literal numbers like a b c e l m n x etc the rules of arithmetic the commutative property of additions of number the commutative property of subtractions of number and the multiplication numbers so that are the dictionary of this chapter if we discuss about the algebra what is the algebra algebra is a part of mathematics in which the letter and the symbol are used to represent the number in equation it help us to study about the unknown quantity the first problem which we are going to discuss in the algebra that is mathematics patterns what is the matchstick patterns if we show this diagram or observe this diagram there are the number of square which is made by the matchstick the number of matchstick used to make first square is 4 the number of matchstick which is used to make a second square is 7 the number of matchstick which is used to make a third square is 10 so the pattern we observe is follow the rule 3 and plus 1 with this pattern we can easily find the number of matchstick required in any number of examples for example if we want to calculate how many matchstick will be used in the 50th figure the solution is 3n plus 1 in the place of n we will use 50 so our answer is 150 plus 1 that is 151 matchstick the another example if we consider how many matchstick will be used in the 100 figure we use the same formula 3n plus 1 it will give 3 into 100 plus 1 that is 301 the next is what is variable the variable refer to a unknown quantity that can change or vary and the represent using the lower case letter of a english alphabet on such example of the same is the rule that we use in the matchstick pattern 3n plus 1 here is n is a unknown and it can be vary from the time so it is our variable if we take more example of variable or the rule of variable the basic rules are we can use any letter as a variable but only in the lower case so we have to consider that the variable always we make in a lower case the second thing is a number cannot be used for the variable as they have a fixed value and they can also help in solving some other problems so variables are always in a lower case if we discuss the problem what value of x make the equation below 2 the equation is 7x plus 7 plus x equals to 84, and we have a four option: the 12, 77, 83, and 91. What is the rule to solve of this? The rule is: first of all, we isolate the unknown variable at the one sign and of the equal signature. How we will do it? 7 plus x equals to 84. For making the x isolate, we subtract the equation from the both side by the minus 7. And the finally we get x equal to seventy seven. So the correct answer for the following question, where we want to know what is the value of seven plus x equals to eighty four, the correct answer is option B, that is seventy seven. That is known as isolation rule of algebra. The next is will be select fifteen pieces of fruit. If three out of five are bananas, how many bananas does a groupie have? And we have an option here. We apply the commutative property. and the formula to express that value the procedure is that we isolate the variable and find out the value of b by multiplication the answer is b equals to 9 if we talk about the basic properties of algebra the basic property of algebra is the addition is commutative means a plus b equals to b plus a and the subtraction is not commutative means a minus b is never equals to b minus a the multiplication is commutative a dot b equals to b dot a or a cross b equals to b cross a but the division is not commutative A cross A divided by B is not equals to B divided by A. My next problem is what algebraic equation represents the three times the difference of a number x and nine equal to fifteen. There are the certain options. The statement is three times the difference of x and nine. It means the answer B is correct, which is justified in our statement. The assignment of algebra is also given to 
do the practice. So in algebra, we will focus on variable, constant, literal, to follow the commutative and distributive property that are the basic properties of algebra. Thank you.